Do I need a model release? Do I need a model release? Do I need a model release for this photo? Probably one of the most common questions I see online when it comes to stock photography. And I can tell you right now, if you have to ask that question, you probably need one. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time photographer and videographer living in Sweden. I've also been a stock photo contributor for many years. Today, we're talking a little bit about model releases, why you need them, why they're important for you, important for the models, important for the companies purchasing your photos, and I will show you the fastest and easiest way to create new releases for every photo shoot. I think this should be a pretty short and to the point kind of video, but an important video. Because if you have visibly identifiable people in your photos or footage, you will need a model release to be able to sell your footage and photos on a stock agency. That took me a long time to say. If you don't know what a model release is, it is a short document signed by both the model and the photographer on any and every photo shoot that in short states that the model has given their consent to be photographed by this photographer at this specific <laughs> by this photographer at this specific occasion and is being compensated for the work that they're doing. It's basically a contract that gives the photographer the right to use the content from this specific shoot commercially. And by extension, gives any potential client purchasing this material from the stock agency the rights to use this content with this model commercially. It's usually a really simple one-page document. And on this document, the model has to fill out their name and contact information together with a reference photo of that model. So that one can clearly see that the person that filled out this form is actually the same person in the photographs. There will also be information to fill out like age, gender, ethnicity, which is all mostly there for search purposes. So it will be converted to relevant searchable keywords when you upload the model release to the stock agency. At least that's how it works on iStock and Get Images. So this will help potential customers to find the right model that suits their, that suits their content that suits their customer, their target age group, and their part of the world. Basically to make it easier for customers to search for the right content on these stock agencies. And this document is signed by the model, uh, by the photographer, of course, and there is often an optional field for a witness to sign as well. I usually like to have a witness sign the document as well, even though it's optional, just to be extra safe. That could just be one of the other models from the photo shoot, uh, maybe another photographer that you have with you, an assistant. Again, I'm pretty sure this is optional on most stock sites, but I like to be safe. So why do we need this document? Well, we don't want sneaky photographers running around and taking photos of everybody and selling that content online. That's very creepy and a pretty big breach of privacy. That is also why we need a model release from each and every shoot that we do, even if it's with the same model that we used before. We can't just get a model signature once and then expect it'll be okay for us to follow them around for the rest of their lives, take potential photos and sell them online again. Also, not very cool. So we need a signed model release with a short description of the photo shoot from each and every photo shoot we do. It's also very important for big clients that may want to purchase your footage uh, to see that everyone involved actually wanted to be there. They don't want to get, they don't want to risk getting sued for any reason. So they want to see that the models that were a part of the photo shoot gave their permission to be photographed and were compensated for their work. Same thing goes with the location. If you're shooting indoors or on somebody's property you will need a property release signed by the owner from every photo shoot. But what about imagery where you can't really see who the model is? Like, you know, close up of hands, for example. Uh, well, this is a tricky one. Yes, from the outside, a pair of hands may look pretty unrecognizable, but look at it from your perspective. Look at your hands. I'm pretty sure we would all recognize our own hands whenever we see them. And sure, I think you might get away with uploading uh, images of hands without any model releases attached to them, unless they're very personal with like, you know, tattoos covering them. However, I always use model releases, even on imagery with non-recognizable people. And I do this for two reasons that are kind of the same reason, but seen from different angles. And it's, it's legal purposes. I always want to have a signed document from every model. Model? from every model that I work with that says that I have their permission to photograph them and use that material commercially, for my sake. And the second reason is that big clients, they really need to see this as well. Big companies or their legal teams are not going to allow them to purchase materials without all the proper documentation attached. Again, they don't wanna get risk, they don't wanna get risk getting sued. Again, they don't wanna risk getting sued. 
So by not using a model release, even for content with unrecognizable people in it, you might actually miss out on a very big customer group, those big clients that need to see the model releases. Now, these model releases are most likely available in digital form, ready to be printed from any stock agency that you're a part of, for free because they want you to use them as well. However, you know, printing documents, bringing them with you on every shoot, having them model, signing them with pen and paper, it's quite a hassle. It takes time and it can be pretty inconvenient, especially if you're shooting like outdoors, away from tables and flat surfaces. And if you're like me and don't own a printer, you might have to ask your girlfriend if she can print the papers over in her studio and then bring them home to me. Also, not very convenient, but there are easier ways to do this. But there are easier ways. Wow, I really cannot speak today. But there are easier ways to do this. I've been using this app on my phone called Easy Release for years. Uh, it's great. I'm sure there are other apps as well, but I know for a fact that this is an app that is recommended by iStock and Getty Images. So I'm quite sure that most of the other stock agencies think that this app is fine to use as well. But do double check this with your stock agency before buying the app, just to be sure. I can tell you right now that it's a huge time saver. Really easy to fill out the forms. You can take a reference photo of the model straight in the app and it will automatically add it to the model release. If you want to, you can customize your model release slightly. Let's say you want to add your company name at the top or bottom of the page. When it's all signed and done, you can email it to yourself and to the model straight from the app. So when you're back in front of your computer and ready to upload, you have your model release right there in your email. The app itself can also back up all your releases to the cloud if that's something that you want. Really great if you're working with several different devices and want to be able to access your model releases from all these devices at the same time. In case, let's say you want to have an iPad just for signing model releases, you can have that, but then still access all the model releases from your smartphone later. As I probably mentioned, this app does cost some money though. I do not remember how much because I bought it so many years ago, but I think, uh, but I think it's been worth every cent considering like the time and effort has saved me <laughs> over the years. It's definitely cheaper than a printer and paper. That's for sure. All right, so just to summarize, model releases, important for everyone involved, involved, for everyone involved. It protects the models, it protects the photographer, it legitimizes the work and reassures potential buyers. They're probably available for free in digital form from your stock agency, but the app is better. And you might as well getting used to working with them now. Same goes for property releases. I think it'll be good for you and I think it will definitely be good for your portfolio to get some, get some people in there. With that, I think I'll just end this video right here. Was it a short video? I felt like I was talking for ages. Either way, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was at least a little bit useful for you. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It's the very best way to uh, help out my channel, make it grow, and also let YouTube know what you enjoy um, to watch. Why can't I speak today? It's also the very best way for you to let YouTube know what kind of content you enjoy watching. Take care of yourself and I will see you in the next, next, in the next video. If you're subscribed, that is. Bye bye. Do I need a model release for this photo? Do I, do I need a model release? Do I need a model release for this photo? Do I need a model release? Do I, do I need a model release for this photo? Do I need a model release? Do I need a model release for this photo? I'm gonna move this out of the way.